Oh man, we end up. I end up getting a song with Juicy J. I was at Envy. He end up seeing me perform. Well, Project Pat end up seeing me perform. I had opened up for him. It was a show two two turned down. Dirt slung it to me. I you know two was the first man on the camp. You know what I'm saying. So it was always he get his first picks or whatever he want to do, which is you know understandable. I was the second man coming up. He ain't want it. I got it. I opened up for Project Pat. I performed the song me and two got called What the Fuck. WTF. He end up like he end up liking the song. He end up getting in contact with us through through elevations and all that, and hit me up. I was at work. Initially wanted to buy it. Yeah, I was at work. Hit me hit us up like yeah, trying to buy the song. Like buy the song, Damn. shoot, it ain't even really just it ain't one hundred percent mine to sell. So I we gotta give my we gotta give my brother on the phone, call him. I ain't gonna lie, I got kicked out the conversation after that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't know what happened with, with the conversation from that part, but I know it, it, it never by the time we 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 told them we don't know what to sell it for, the next day they called back and it wasn't no sale conversation. They were talking about the yeah. the remix. And that's and that's when I get a phone call. Yeah, come up to the studio. We finna we got a song with Juicy J. I'm like, what? Damn, I go from this from Project Pat wanting to buy the song to us getting the song with Juicy J. I'm like, shit, I don't give a damn how it happened. I'm with it. Came up here, hear the song. And it was Aethoven beat. Yeah, and it was Aethoven beat. You know what I'm saying? Come up here, hear the song. I'm, it's cool. Ours was better, but it was cool. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I hopped on that motherfucker, ate it on me, ate, ate everybody on the on the song. Ha, I came at you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I'm gonna do though, man. I am the feature. I'm a feature killer on me. I kill all features. But uh, yeah, man, that shit was fun though on me. But then it came to the point where this nigga got to watching us. He followed me on Insta. I mean on uh Twitter. Like, I ain't even been on Twitter since. I swear I haven't. I ain't been on Twitter since. Like, because he followed us on Twitter, then all of a sudden, he got to end up sounding, making songs that sound like bro songs that he was promoting, at, that he was getting ready to push and promote at the time. Then he was dropping them motherfuckers on the top of World Star on us, bro. Like, Bam, 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 bam. Like, God damn, bro. Every other day he dropping a new one at the top of world, start fucking us up. I'ma be real. On me stealing bro songs, fucking us up at the top of world, start like, yeah, nigga. Like, what the fuck, bro? That shit was weird. What happens next? Shit, I mean, you know, bro got some bread, so shit. He talked to a couple lawyers. It wasn't nothing we could really do about the shit because he put it out on free sites. And they said he did enough to switch the songs up to where they weren't 100% identical type shit. So it wasn't nothing we could really do. But, I mean, proof in the pudding, man. How many songs was it? It was like three songs. Nah, see, because, I mean, it was what the fuck and then oh, three yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah. Well, he did what the fuck with him. I mean, we can't count that. Was thinking about still yeah, we can't count that one. Yeah, he did that song with us, so we can't count that one. So, but yeah, that motherfucker did good numbers everywhere too on me. Did good numbers. So niggas right now can Google that motherfucker. Yeah, Juicy J featuring Young Two, Joker B, What the Fuck, WTF. Probably gonna see some white. One of the videos you gonna see one some white girl dancing to it. Shout out to them white girls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, everybody went on the fuck juicy campaign in the city, man. On me, we had the whole city behind us, man. No cap. You know, we, you know, it's always gonna be some naysayers and some haters in the in the mix, but for the most part, we had the whole city behind us, man. On me, Every, like everywhere, no cap. A lot of people was fucking with us tuned in, like shit. People from out of town seeing the shit, cause. They they say they even got done the same way type shit on me or they know people that didn't 
that that he didn't done, done like that or they didn't heard about it already from other people in the industry. So I mean, yeah, it was a it was a fuck juicy campaign, you know what I'm saying? Tell him he still need to highlight us on it. Yeah, man, come on, man, drop off some. And then here recently, he got some lawsuits for stealing. Yeah. Here recently. Why well, I said we should, we ought to pick it back on that shit. Come on, yeah, we tried to get him at first, y'all. We're gonna be a Cosby, his ass. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Bill, man. I already coming, I already coming home, man. I already coming home, baby, yeah.